Okay, everybody, Lisa from my T-Vault, and I got a new toy, so I'm trying it out. I got a ring light, okay? I figured if I'm gonna be doing videos, I need to start getting some of the equipment to do them with. But I promised you a video about a tea that was sent to me, and I just wasn't real happy about it. And it made me want to just do a video about it, not to ruin the company, but just because we need to read and we need to know ingredients, okay? And my number one thing is, I don't mind drinking teas that are infused or, um, you know, herbals added. I don't even mind sometimes if um, an essence is added to it, as long as you tell me what that is. I am not a fan of natural flavors. And recently somebody countered me on that and said, um, so what, you want artificial? No. I want to be told what's in my food, what's in my drink. I want to know what that natural flavor is. You know what you're putting into it. So let me know what it is. As a consumer, I have that right to know what I'm putting in my body. And yeah, I get a little bit, um, what do I want to say, excited about it. And I get a little bit hyped up about it because it's just so important. And I've been going through a few things in the last few days and it just, if you're putting stuff into your body and into your mouth and you're not caring about what it is, then you're going to reap the rewards of it. And if you're doing everything that you can to be as non-toxic as you can, because we'll never be totally toxic free, not in this world, unless we live in a bubble. But if, we, if we're doing everything we can and something happens, then I, a good person just said this to me, then, then you can take the hit. You can take the hit and you can bounce back from it. That's what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, let me get back to this. Um, I had an exchange with someone and they sent me this tea because I love exchanging teas with people and I love having teas from different areas. And the tea came like this. And um, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you the name of it because it, it doesn't matter totally because this company had some good teas. They had some really good teas um, in their list, I went through a lot of them, but they had a lot of teas that had artificial or natural flavors, and then they had this tea, and this is a um, a black tea with cook. It's called coconut creme brulee. Oh, and it sounded wonderful, and I really wanted to try it, but you can tell. I'll do it this way. I haven't opened it, and I'm not going to, and I'm probably going to throw it away, you know, because it shouldn't be consumed. So I went on the website because the label was a little bit weird and they actually wrote in the quantity. Um, they highlighted, you know, the um, amount that I was supposed to do, um, the temperature and um, black tea, three to five minutes. So I don't know, I thought it was weird. Um, so anyway, but it's a legit company, it's a big company. It actually seems to be like a chain and it um, is growing and moving around and that's fine. But the main reason for this video is to tell you, you have to, have to, have to read your labels and you do not have to settle for ingredients. Number one, that you don't know what they are and number two, that they are not described. Natural flavors, according to the um, the United States, um, ugh, totally lost my brain, but anyway, is listed, it could be anything. And I make a joke all the time and I say it could be duck poop because it could be, it could be anything. Natural flavors is not restricted very much at all and it can be anything. Most of the time, it is a flavor that's added to your tea or your product. Some of the times, it's a, um, an additive to make you want more or it's a preservative. I want to know what's in my drinks. It's that simple. And if I get sent teas I, with natural flavors, I contact the company and I say, hey, what is this natural flavor? And if they can't tell me, it's not gonna get reviewed. Um, it's gonna get in a video like this. So I'm not gonna take the name of the company because they do have some good teas, but I'm telling you when you go to companies and they have a lot of infused teas, read the labels, okay? So this tea, which, um, I was surprised, I mean it had black tea in it and it had coconut. And then it had, um, let me see, it, black tea, coconut chips, and I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but it had sodium 
methobisulfite. And I was like, well, what the heck is that? You know, said it was probably a preservative. So I went right to the internet. Number one, first thing after the ads was a hazard summary of sodium methabisulfite. Can you read it? Yeah. So anyway, it shouldn't be inhaled. Number one, you, you can't, you, the effect when you are breathing in, it, contact can irritate the skin and your eyes. Breathing sodium methabisulfite can irritate the nose, throat, and lungs, causing coughing, wheezing, and or shortness of breath. What? Um, it may cause an asthma-like allergy. Future exposure can cause asthma attacks with shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, and or chest tightening. Um, it's a Department of Transportation corrosive material. I'm telling you folks, I didn't make it up. You can find it for yourself on the internet. Um, so they put that in my tea. I don't want that. So um, that was one site. And then I went to Livestrong. It's another great site to look for. Um, and again, it's, you've probably encountered many products containing sodium metabisulfate without even realizing it. Um, it preserves food and is used extensively in commercial winemaking. It is a bleaching agent in the textile, pulp, and paper industry. Um, it is also used in the chemical, pharmaceutical, film, and photogenic, photographic industries, and even in water and sewage treatment plants. However, pure sodium, meth meth the name, the sodium thing, can be quite hazardous. All right, and talks about ingestion. Ingestion. I'm gonna make this tea and I'm gonna ingest that crap. I don't wanna do that. Um, inhalation, skin contact, eye contact, allergy, reactions. Honestly, why the hell are you putting that in your tea? And if you have to, then why are you even making that tea? Honestly, um, I'm not, I, I won't drink, I won't eat it. I won't even give this to my friend. I'm, this is going in the garbage where it belongs. And it's really sad because I'm sure there's some really good tea in there. But people read your ingredients. Know what you're drinking. Don't take it, you know, like it's a big company. And don't take it for a fact that, oh, you know, they, they have, everything is great. You don't have to read labels. You have to read labels in Whole Foods. You have to read labels everywhere you go. And you have to be educated and know. And if you don't know what it is, because I didn't know what that was, I looked it up and I got pages of information like, I don't want to eat that. I don't want that. And so there it goes. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, just be educated. And I hate being that kind of a person that has to speak negatively. But you know what? The tea world isn't a perfect world either. And there's some things going on out there. And we need to talk about them as well. And honestly, if you want to eat good, good, eat, drink good teas, you're going to want to drink the ones that are single origin, black teas, white teas, yellow teas, green teas. Um, those are the best, you know? And, you know, you can get around like gin matchas and stuff like that. And I love to dabble and mix things in my teas, but I'm not putting any chemicals and stuff like that in my body. So that's it. That's my rant and that's about it and you guys have a great night and if you got any comments questions you want to discuss natural flavors with me go ahead i'm ready for you um yeah i just i i want to hear your side i just don't think it's necessary and if it is necessary then i don't think we need to really purchase it have a great day what's in your cup let me know below bye by the way how does the ring light look does it look any better I mean, I got this little setup going on, and I even bought, hold on, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can get this. I bought, oh, Amazon Prime, what you did to me. Look. It's a mic and a windsock, and I haven't figured out how to work it yet. I haven't added it on. I have to get my adapter back um, for my phone. My son borrowed it while he went on vacation. Once I do... We'll set this up and we'll play around with the audio a little bit but I heard that this one was pretty good and so we'll see.
All right, guys, have a great day. Again, let me know. I want to know what you're drinking. I want to know the teas that you guys are drinking. I want to know what you think. I want to hear from you. Have a great day. Bye.